Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. That's right, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to get right on into it, because it ain't nothing but to do it. Ain't nothing to it. Hey, nothing but to do it. All right, now we're going to be talking about Nene Leakes and how Greg affected her life. He loved himself some neat, neat leaks, okay? And he put up with all her bullshit. The low bullshit, the high bullshit, and the middle bullshit. He put up with it all, okay? And her son had to put up with her bullshit, too. All this nonsense she be doing out here in these streets. And he never, ever let it go by. Where if he wanted to give his wife a kiss, he gave her a kiss, okay? He gave her a kiss. In public, in private, the kiss was still given. All right? So we salute Greg Leakes for putting up with Nene Leakes, okay? He was a fine, dapper man. He dressed... For the occasion and he could dress casual too and be setting it off yes that was a nice looking man okay and he wasn't too bad in his heyday but he aged well very well and even with the cancer he still was looking up to par okay now i'm mad at nene because nene just doing too much out here in these streets all right and what happened to uh, Greg Dog? What happened to Greg Dog? Who is tending to Greg's dog? Is Brent got the dog? Because I know just because Greg went to another plane of existence and left the reality that we live in. I know you didn't get that dog to the pound, Nene. I know you didn't get his dog to the pound. Or it'd be piss poor on you. Piss poor and karma will come around when you least expect it. But I'm like, you got on Greg for having a platonic relationship with this woman that you had as a manager in one of your stores, okay? And they weren't doing number talking. And you got so piece of hot mad, you fired her. And I'm like, why are you taking all these trips? Did you pay your uh, staff members of the swag boutique stores you closed down? Didn't get them no unemployment insurance. Did you pay them people off in any? Because you ought to be whooped up the crack of your ass if you did not pay them. And you out here floundering in these streets and spending money left and right. Especially on a man that won't even share a kiss with you in public. But he's supposed to be your boyfriend, right? He's supposed to be your glorified boyfriend out here who's still married. But Greg didn't do that. He didn't do that. And, you know, if he cheated on you in the past and we don't know about it, but you want to tell us about it. Okay. But I'm sure you got on. You got. You did to do too. That's all I say. Tip and tat. Tip and tat. But you flying around him doing everything you possibly can do with a man who don't even show no affection to you in public or private. Or he might be giving it to you in private, but he probably thinking, oh, okay, well, I'm going to make her get me this. I'm going to make her get me that. And another thing. Why you cheering it up, having a good time, floundering out here from city to city, from state to state, from country to country. Why you never treated Greg Leakes with the Hollywood lifestyle? Okay, he only went with you when you had to go to your business trips. But when did Shaw ever went over to Africa? I don't remember you ever going over to Africa with Greg Leakes. But you don't slip, slither yourself on over there with... We're going to call him a thirst trap. Because that's what he looking like to me. And I ain't liking him not one bit. Okay. And if you continue to hang with him. I'm going to have to toss you off the roster too. Of being liked. And try to drag you as quick as possible. Every day if possible. Until you straighten up and fly right. You got your nose so wide open with this man. He is so much taking advantage of you. Yes he is. I don't care what people say. He's doing it. You just was in Ghana. Ghana, Africa. Or Accra, Africa. Now, how did you 
go there and you went straight on to Paris, France. What the hell is going on with you, Nene? Are you spending your money? That's all I want to know. Now, both of y'all doing it, splitting the 50 50. Okay, do you? I have no problem. But my spider senses are tingling, saying, You paying for everything. You putting the bill, sister. And I really wish they would have had a real housewives or real house husbands. Because that show would have been so it would have been sent through the stratosphere. People would have been watching that because those cats were really good. All right. But you see how Greg here and there smooches with Nene showing his affection. You don't get that with Yanni. Not Nayoni, you don't. He either walking in front of uh, Nene or in the back of her or pretty much not really near her. Okay? He taking his selfies, she taking her selfies. But when they take them together, it's like an awkward situation. Like he is just like. Oh, do I have to come near you? Do You know, it's just like it, it's hard for him to even be putting up with Nene. You see what I'm saying? Even in her presence. But Greg, he he dressed up like a damn roach on Halloween. And went to, I think it was Kim's Ozak party. They went to a, some party the housewives were invited to. And they were supposed to come in costume. And he, he, he did whatever Nene wanted him to do. Okay? Because he loved that woman. He loved them. And I, I, I bet you my bottom dollar, she ain't going to never get another man like him. No, lure her dirty drawers up hands uh uh-uh. and she treated that man like shit okay because i believe i really believe the reason why they got divorced they were having some tax problems and shout out to the uh that at alien she be over there i know she be trying to take up for her friend nene but i know in the back of her mind she be like nene you need to slow down you need to slow down girl but she's a good friend she ain't she gonna hold me up to the last drop of sweat come off her forehead because this man is draining and Nene leaks dry okay he might well be her stylist or her hairdresser because he sure ain't her lover he sure ain't her boyfriend he sure ain't her significant other it's some bullshit that's what this is some bullshit and Nene if this is your karma for treating everybody in your past time or your past life or your past just in general if you screwed over a lot of people i guess this is your karma your comeback because to me it seems like this man has got you by the purse strings can i prove it sure i can is he taking her money can i prove it sure i can allegedly do i have witnesses yes i have footage because i ain't never heard of nene gonna go out of town or out the country and then have money to go steal out the country okay somewhere else two fabulous trips into one i ain't never heard of it out of all the time i've been seeing nene on this show she ain't never took no trips unless bravo was paying for it okay and publicizing is what i'm saying but yes see they headed to paris they don't left ghana or Accra, africa and they took the next thing smoking to Paris, France. And I'm like, what does Yanni have that Greg didn't have? Is it the dick, Nene? Is it the dick? Because the dick make everybody go crazy if it's some good dick. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing it's some good dick that he giving you. Because it just don't make no sense how you out here acting. And you always calling yourself somebody need to let you have a job. Well, how you floss around here? Here, I don't think you need a job. I don't think you need any job. You living your best life. You sitting up here doing what it make it do. You making it rain on Mr. Nione, okay? And then he up in the Rolex shop talking about he looking for a sale. And I thought he was top shelf liquor. I thought he was top shelf eager liquor. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to go in asking how much stuff costs or is it on sale. Child, please. That's for the uh, layman's people like me. Everyday hardworking folk. That's like me. I'm going in there asking the price and if they got layaway. Okay. <laughs> but make sure I'll go over to my other channel now. Make it make sense. And my daughter said she put my um, the link to it in my community tab on my channel that y'all are on now. So go and look for it. Okay. 
Go on, in, go on over there and sign up now. Go on up there. I don't know what you're waiting on. It's free. Okay, but come, coming back to this situation. This eagle right here. Gonna have Nene smoking out the window. I know y'all heard of Silk Sonic. Go listen to the song. And you're gonna have, it's, that's going Nene gonna be singing that shit. She thought he belonged to her, but he belongs to everybody. Everybody got me smoking out the window. And my benzo, my benzo. Yes, how could he do this to me? Yeah, that's what Nene gonna be saying. <laughs> give, give her about three more months. That's exactly what she's gonna be saying. She's smoking out the window. Smoking an ooey out the window trying to figure out where she went wrong. That what she gonna be doing? She's gonna have an ooey in one hand and a, and a bottle of champagne <laughs> in the other one. But after he don't blow through her money, she might have some cooler money. Some cigarettes. Seagram's cooler money and a cigarette or some ooey. She probably need to hit Snoop Dogg up. Because I got the pictures, I got the footage. He just smiling, just smiling, smiling, smiling. And then he don't look that happy. She really don't look that happy. She was trying to fake the phone over in Acro Africa when she was over there. I don't know really what she was doing over there because, again, it don't seem like she was really, really enjoying herself. You know, like bright-eyed, bushy tail, running around there like a girl in heat, in a, especially in a shopping mall where you can just go buy, 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 buy. You know what I'm saying? Even shit that you don't even want, you just buy because you got the money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it seems like uh, Mr. Nione is up in that Rolex shop in Paris, France, and he's asking about a sale. What kind of eagle do you have on your arm? And then he relate on your arm. It's you. It's you all the time grabbing on him. Holding on him. Laying on him. He's showing no effect. He's almost like your butler. Okay. Or your assistant. That's what the tease is giving me. Because I don't see how, as long as you've been married to Greg Leaks, you never tried to take him to any parts of Africa and any parts of Paris. Okay? Paris, France. Okay? Italy. i never seen you try to take any of those expensive, exploratory, fascinating, extraordinary trips. But you're going to take this ego. Okay? That's younger than you. He's supposed to have his own money. So I don't know why he asking about a sale. In Rolex in Paris, France, he asking about a sale? No, that's what common folks, that's what peasants like us do. Hard working everyday folks, individuals. We got to be asking the price. But like I said, hey, I'm a sister that I always like lay away. I may not have it all right now, but you give me two or three months, I'm going to have it all. <laughs> Paid in full. No credit check. No uh, no using of the credit cards. It's going to be paid in full. All right. But yeah. Talking about this is how we do. That ain't how y'all do. That's how Naomi schemes people like Widow Nene leaks. Okay, to get you know she she the uh, what do you call it um the big mama. You know how they say big papa. She his big mama. Okay, she is his meal ticket for now. But I got a hot piss and mad. I had to do this video, guys. I had to call Nene out. Come like, now. Nah, this don't make no goddamn sense. You can have one trip on me or whatnot. Because you might just be, your nose just open, wide open. And, and you know, and he, I ain't even going to say he put it down. Okay? I ain't going to say that much. But what I am going to say. If you um, kind of fostered or put the trip together for you and him and y'all went one place okay give it to you got it good but you gonna treat this eager to another trip girl i want to see the receipts because i'm saying you paid for it and it could be a platonic amicable situation where y'all both paid y'all own tickets y'all both paid split the you know bill for the hotel something to that degree but to me nene and looking at that man. And you see he got both bags in his hand. When did he have a hole in the thing for you? Because that trip over in Africa. You had your luggage. And you had your bag. He ain't had nothing. He wasn't holding shit. So I'm thinking he got that Rolex in that white bag. 
and you paid for it. That's what I'm thinking. Okay? Because he's showcasing. He's flossing. But that's how some men are. And some women, I ain't going to put it all on men. Gold diggers. When they get what they want, they, they proudly to be around you. They proud to hold their own package that you bought for them. Okay? Sitting up there in that beautiful city. And Greg didn't even get a chance to even have one third of that look. But you're going to hold off and give it to your playboy. I ain't going to even say, yo, he your boyfriend. It's just a total disgrace. It's a shame and a disgrace. Sitting out there. You should have been buying one of them shoes when you instead of you buying one of them Rolexes that he wanted. And it wasn't on sale. You should have got a pair of them boots. Look at them shoes that look like boots. Should have been showering yourself. Let him shower his own self with whatever money he came with. And you shower yourself. You took a picture of some chandelier. What the hell are you taking pictures of a chandelier for? We got better chandeliers that look better than that over here in the States. Hell in Georgia. Putting it on where you go. Somebody got the hook up for you. Because you know, Nina, you be looking for the hookup. You don't be looking for trying to pay for nothing full price. If you do, you out here showcasing it. And nine times out of ten, you probably send it back to the store for a refund. That's what that's the tease that you're giving me. That's the tease because you click pick on Sheree all the time. At least she ain't out there shopping for no convict boyfriend, okay? It seemed like he padded her a little better than what your so-called boyfriend is padding you. It may seem to be that Sheree got the better end of the stick of this convict coming out. Because he flossed up with some money while he was gone. And she kept it all kosher. Didn't spend what she wasn't supposed to spend. And he probably showering her. Okay? But you're showering a man. If I was a bedding woman, I would say you footed both trips. Yes. But you couldn't pay those people their money when you closed down those uh swag boutiques you couldn't pay them any money then you wanted your restaurant workers i heard on them youtube streets you wanted them to work free for christmas <laughs> or the christmas season you wanted them to work for free child nanny you have lost your mind because yes greg was the best and probably the worst because y'all had some rocky times but he never made you look like a fool on TV. He was always kissing your ass, kissing your hand, kissing your cheeks. Okay, to the day he died, probably. And your son, he know, he know what's up. That man using you. But you don't have the sense and the intelligence to know when you're being used and when you're being loved. Okay, that was the love of your life right there. I've never seen the man treat you any kind away only giving you respect out in the public and he probably did the same damn thing in private but you sitting up there putting a bill for a man that has shown the world that he can care less about you you're probably like gum underneath his shoe but right now you're a widow widower and you have money to burn and he wants to spend help you spend some of that money on him so he can stay into the custom lifestyle that he's used to yes sir but we salute Greg leaks we salute him and again where's his dog at i forgot what his name was his dog named king or something like that y'all y'all let me know i know it wasn't champ i don't know why champ coming to my mind but i think it was king but i could be wrong i'm not always right y'all ain't have right i have time I'm just out here having a conversation with my YouTube family. That's all. But yes, y'all. That's all I got. I ain't got no more for this video. Because she just discussed me. How she gonna fire that young lady. Like she ain't have no life to live. Like she ain't have bills to pay. But since somebody told her. That they were having conversations over the phone. And possibly having a little lunch. She gonna come back in town, have a meeting, and it's gonna come out. And then she gonna ask the lady, did she do it or whatever? And the lady probably say, yeah, but we didn't do anything. Uh, we mostly talked about your ass. But she said, okay, fired. Leave the keys right there and you can go right now. That's what she did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knowing Greg needed somebody to talk to. Because she wasn't there. 
how she said she was out there making it do what it do so she can pay for all that she has accumulated and with him not you know giving in putting in she had to take up his slack like nini ain't that's what marriage is about for richer for poor for better or worse for sickness and health do you remember those vows baby because you did it two times with the joker okay do you not remember it but that's all i got y'all ain't got no more and i'll see you on the next video bye bye